Yeah, got the top hat over here, got the bushing, got the ratchet, everything's good. And uh, there's the spring and the strut that came off at Mach fucking 12. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Don't have a 16. Use 5 eighths. Good. Oh, perfect. Hate these bolts. Hate this sway bar. Hate this rust. Hate everything! Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Are you helping? No. You're just making sure I don't get anything done. Oh, you're so good for that. Yes, you are. Oh, yes. I need the boot. But I'm not even gonna deal with that. Oh, look at this. This car was really easy to work on. I just had to find a special Mercedes tool. It uh, really helped fix everything. Special Mercedes tool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I got that. Yeah, that's a little bit more. Yeah. Perfect. Old lower control arm. Mm-hmm. Good. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The new one. There it goes. Oh. Alright. Get the tire wait. Fuck. Alrighty. Okay, check with the old one. Wait. Uh, okay. <sighs> mm-hmm. Yep. Fuck my life. Now to find a wrench. Fits the inner probably metric. Nine sixteenths. Ooh, good enough. People tell me working on cars is hard. Fractions are hard. It's a uh, six uh, seven six it's uh four my thumb is. to actually do an alignment. Measure your tie rod end. Make sure they match. Next you find a pairing point. For me, I picked where the boot attaches. Then we go to this one, do the same thing. It has to come out a little bit. Then you turn the outer tie rod anti-clockwise. Check. It needs a little bit more. Do half a turn. Once it's where it needs to be, you tighten the lock nut. Finger tight, and you take an appropriately sized wrench, one that fits, turn that clockwise. Or you can take one that's too small and hammer it on, because we only do things right around here. And you just turn it until it's facing the right way. Oh my god, would you look at that. It worked. So with that done, just prop it up on something, put your foot on there to hold it. Don't wear eye protection or gloves or anything like that, because you hate your life and have no future.